The, the key issue for us is that from October 2017, under the European legislation, uh, our competitors, the beet sugar producers, will be uh, deregulated so they can produce as much as they want. There's no taxes or levers that apply to them. Uh, and yet we, as um, cane refiners, uh, will still be restricted to where we can buy sugar from and a lot of the sugar that we buy will have to pay duties. So in very simple terms it means that we'll be competing with French and German beet sugar producers with both hands tied behind our back. And let's, let's, let's be quite clear about this, you're not asking for any special treatment for cane producers or cane refiners, what you're asking for is equal treatment, is that fair to say? Absolutely spot on. All we want is for the legislation to be a level playing field and if the market determines that we're not competitive then that's our problem but what we don't think is right is that the legislator in Brussels should should determine that. And we're up against obviously a lot of bureaucracy with the Commission and the sort of legacy of rules. Um, what realistically can, can we can we achieve and what should we be asking for realistically as, a, as a, opposed to yeah. you know what others may be asking for? Well ideologically we'd like all of the cane sugar import duties to go just like the beet sugar quotas are going yeah. but we know that's not likely to happen so the two key issues that we're focusing on in the next few years are We'd like to see more raw cane sugar in these bilateral free trade agreements that Europe's negotiating with other countries. We've already seen um, some great progress with that with the deal with South Africa last year and there's a few that we'd hope that we'll see progress on in the next few years. And the second thing we'd like to see is about 30% of the sugar that we buy today attracts a small import duty. In the jargon it's called CXL sugar and we believe that that duty is, is basically uh, a throwback, a relic, and we'd like to see that go now as well. And if we can get both of those things under our belt in the next few years, then that gives us a fighting chance of competing after 2017. And you've invited me here as an MEP to look around today and meet many of the people who worked here and who come from families that have worked here for generations. What, what, what would be your message be to me? What can us as MEPs do to help, you know, um, protect jobs but also you know make sure that this base is still here for many years to come yeah i think the key thing that you can do Said, is raise the profile of it in brussels you know what we want people to see is that here's a real example of some of the things that are bad in brussels and how it's affecting people's lives and people's jobs i'm absolutely sure if people thought about it in brussels nobody would want this to happen but we'd really like to see what they're doing to us we'd really like to people to see what they're doing to us and try and find those solutions over the next few years well, I'm a London MEP, London are born and bred and my job as far as I'm concerned is to stand up for jobs in London. So thanks very much. Great, thanks Saeed. Thank you.